Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hate saying that because it's so repetitive. And I can't think of anything else to say. Nope. Okay, moving on. So today's tutorial is a little bit different in like every single freaking way. So be prepared, okay, because I'm going to explain all this to you. So you just sit down, chill out, calm. But before I start, I want to say, because um, this is a very much part skincare and then part makeup, um, I'm going to put the times down below so you can go, I don't want to watch you do your skincare stuff. I want to skip straight to the tutorial. I don't even want to listen to you talk right now, so I just want to skip straight to the tutorial. That's the reason I'm putting the times down below. Choice is everything, okay? Right, the first thing I want to say. Mm. I'm on these rank ass shifts at the moment, like they're called graveyard shifts for a reason, okay? They start at six o'clock in the morning and they finish at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I have a love-hate relationship with them. I love them because I get to see my friends, I get to see my family. My house is so clean right now because I just seem to have so much time after work. The reason why I hate them is pretty obvious. This sleep deprivation is real. Like I'm really 100% sure like the first week, I'm now on my third week, coming into my third week of them. My first week, 100% I quit like every day. That is what sleep deprivation does to me. I am one grumpy, hormonal, psycho bitch. And clearly, clearly, I threatened it though a lot. So that is the reason for the inspiration for this video. Because basically I was finishing at two o'clock in the afternoon and obviously, like I said, I get to actually see my friends and family for once. So I had to do something with my face. That didn't make me look like how I felt inside, like shit and sleep deprived and rank. Like, let me just get this straight. I put makeup on at 3.30, 4 o'clock every morning. So come two o'clock in the afternoon and being in a very highly air conditioned environment, it looks rank and don't even get me started. When you walk out at two o'clock in broad daylight, you can't hide that shit, you just can't. So that's the reason why this skincare thing came because I was found something that worked 100% to make me look alive and to have that beautiful glowing skin went really deeply inside you don't you do not feel like that. The facial cupping video, a lot of people always ask, does it work? So I thought I'd come here today and I would kind of merge two tutorials into one. The first being, I just wanna to prove to you guys that it does work. <laughs> It works all the time. If you're a friend of mine, you're a family member, then you know I always bang on about facial cupping. I literally, that's all I ever talk about. Everyone asks me, what's the best kind of at home treatment? And I will always 110% say, it's facial cupping, it just is, I'm sorry. Anyway, so moving on to the makeup side of this tutorial, it's very different from what I usually do. As you can tell, I really don't have anything on my face. And the reason being is, I feel like my channel is always aimed at makeup. I love makeup, oh my god, you can tell I love makeup. But like literally, what made it click is that social media these days is so aimed at covering up natural beauty. Look, this is gonna turn out into a rant, okay? Sorry. But it's getting younger and younger. The younger generations of girls, oh my god, they're getting younger. I'm not gonna, like, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna say anyone's name or anything, but there is a couple of teenage girls who recognized me from my channel recently in my hometown where I live, and they could not have been anything more than 15. And the amount of makeup they were wearing, and I was, they were just like, I love your highlighter. And I was like, oh my God, am I literally creating this? Am I creating 15, 14, 15 year old girls to walk out thinking they need to wear this amount of makeup? Because shit, hell no, you do not. And so that was the day I was like, no, my channel's gonna change. I love makeup, okay? Now if you wanna beat your face, beat your face, right? You, th that's not gonna be the end of all my massive makeup. I love makeup, I love the creativity behind makeup, I love the fact that you can literally change how you look with makeup. It's a creative thing, it's not a hiding thing. That's what I want to project. I don't wanna project the fact that you can't walk out your house without three layers of fucking foundation on your fucking face. I just want to now go forward and I don't want to dictate to you how you should look, what you should wear and how to do your makeup. When people talk to me and ask me about skincare and makeup and whatever, it's more I want to help you do what you want to do, not me tell you what to do. And that's so much easier in real life. I've yet to come up with a way of projecting that onto my channel because obviously there's one way conversation going on right now. I am just talking at you, you're not coming back at me with things, there's no flow of conversation. So we're going to work it out because I'm such a big believer in 
in natural in natural beauty you know enhancing what you already have okay not hiding it not creating something completely different I want you guys to feel good about yourselves not watch me and think I have to hide me you have to hide yourselves because my pet hate about social fucking media is that it's creating an image that doesn't exist just doesn't exist <laughs> there are ways to help you feel better in yourself okay and we're gonna we're gonna focus on that okay we're gonna focus on that okay. that's enough for me with my ranting because I could go on for ages all right moving on one more thing I want to say to you guys is that uh, you may see my skin Healing. <laughs> because basically I'm trying something new, I'm trying retinol. Um, I don't want to speak about it really on camera yet because it's not been long enough for me to really... I love retinol, like I love the effects that it's had already, but I don't want to come at you until it's been a sufficient amount of time. If you guys are interested in using retinol um, and you don't want to wait for my video to come out, I literally learned everything from a woman named Nadine Baggett here on YouTube. She's an older woman and shit, she knows her stuff. Like she's so freaking knowledgeable about everything beauty wise. And I love her because she focuses very much on skincare and I love skincare and I'm all about looking after your skin. But she is the one that really clued me up on retinol. So if you're interested, go watch her. And I will do something on retinol because obviously I think all the videos on YouTube are very much aimed at the mature skin and I've been doing my own research and I think it can be really really beneficial to younger skin I'm not super young I don't would not advise it to be super super young skin but early 20s mid 20s early 30s skin where we're looking for prevention of aging yes I don't want to get into it now because I am gonna do a video on it so literally that's it yes that's it I've literally been talking out the camera for 11 minutes that's it from me today <laughs> and my mouth well kind of kind of it from my mouth but yeah anyway please go watch the tutorial please enjoy it again I'm gonna say this all the time if you have any questions just comment down below I'm always more than happy to answer you now go enjoy the tutorial I will see you guys later so the only thing I have done uh, today is I have washed my face with a cleanser, nothing serious, no exfoliation or anything like that, just washed it. And this, this is it. So I literally have nothing on my face as you can probably tell. So you're gonna want to use an oil of your choice. Now, please bear in mind that uh, oils uh, are not suitable for all skin types. Do your research when it comes to oils. If you're one of those really super lucky people that it doesn't matter what you put on your face and your face is just absolutely amazing, then this doesn't apply to you. But for people who <coughs> suffer from breakouts, hormonal acne, things like that, you are going to have to do your research about oils. Now the thing is, is a lot of people ask me, is there anything else you can use? No, not really. Because of the suction, there's not really any other type of consistency that you can really use to get that bar oil. But you can get better oils, like ones that are lower on the commonogenic scale and have less pore blocking things. Yeah? So, the one that I use, which is apparently the like low on the commonogenic scale, is uh, rose hip oil. Now The Ordinary does a really nice 100% organic rosehip oil. There's loads out there, okay? Uh, this one is just from Amazon. Now you're gonna wanna put a fair amount of oil on because remember you're not like putting the oil on, you're using the oil for a reason. Don't worry if you need to put more on halfway through cupping. Skin does soak in the oil. If you want a more in-depth tutorial about facial cupping, I do have a video available which is gonna go into everything. So if I skim over this and you're a bit like, oh, the hell is she doing? Please, please go watch that video because it's better and I just, I don't wanna bore my bore you guys that have seen that video about facial cupping again on this because you're just like, yes, know it, thank you. Anyway, the cups, they look something like this. Uh, you normally get a little one and then you normally get a big one. I think they're pretty self-explanatory. This one is for the face, this is for the eyes, and I also use this around my mouth. These are from Amazon. If you've seen my other video, these are exactly the same cups. I've been using them for freaking ages because I just think they're fantastic. Everything that I mentioned here today will be listed down below. Big face cup. Ugh. Oh. Right, you will see my face start to go a bit red, but that is perfectly normal. 
um, because obviously, I don't know if you can see it, but obviously my skin is getting sucked into it. So it is bringing the blood to the surface of the skin, as you can see, look. Yeah. Um, you will get a slight warm feeling. Again, that's just the blood coming to the skin. Don't worry, you're not doing anything. Now, I have had people who have commented saying, on my other video, saying that they've managed to bruise their skin. I'm not entirely sure how you manage to bruise your skin because I do this literally all the time and I've not bruised it. But, Please do not hold it there for a long period of time. That is not how suction works, okay? That's not what cupping is supposed to, the point of it is. I know when you talk about the back ones, they just sit there. Facial cupping is not like that. You are supposed to move the cups quite rapidly around so you do not get bruising. I was reading the instructions, kids. Or watch my video. <laughs> Either one. <laughs> I don't know if you can see a huge difference yet, but I can. But I know my face. I look at my face all the time in the mirror. So I know when it looks different. But this is why I love cupping, right? So because of the shape of my mouth, anyway, I get like skin. I've started to get skin here. And I know that's just because I have a huge mouth. <laughs> so I always feel like it lifts this bit. And then I get a really nice smooth line instead of like this side. I get kind of like it's all squidgy. Not very nice. You probably think I'm ridiculous, but I am ridiculous. Next slide. Now the forehead I always find is a really tricky area. Oh, on my forehead, I find it a really tricky area. <laughs> so the forehead, for some reason, always takes me longer than my cheeks because, I don't know, it just doesn't like to fit to my forehead. And you think it being so big, there's more surface area and it's just not like that. Now the little cup I use for under my eyes, now please be careful when you're doing your under eyes because I know a lot of people, they have really sensitive little under eyes. So you really do have to be careful, please make sure that you do not hold it in a position. I'm fine, my eyes are just not anything, but I know people's are. Please just, yeah, keep that moving, keep it moving. Look at that. Is that the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life? And guess where it's from? Asda. So, little cup. Now again, eye contours and maybe just moving my eyes, but for some reason, it's just not as easy as the facial cupping. Like the bigger cups, because you're just like blah, 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 blah. For the little ones you got taken nice and slow. I always have to pre like press these down because if I pull it'll just stop the suction. Right, I don't know if you can see a difference, but I can. Um, you see here on this eye, there's like a massive crease. You see here on this eye, not really any crease, yeah? So, proof is in the pudding, people. You just wait till I put my makeup on. You're like, shit. Now I'm gonna do one side and then, so you guys can see the difference. As you can see, again, because I've got such a massive mouth, I have quite already deep-seated wrinkles here so this is what I do I literally just attack this whole area of suction <laughs> to try to get it's these lines that I really don't want to get I don't want to let them get really any deeper so if all the lips I don't really do the lips I actually the lips because it doesn't works um, but I do the lines of the lips and again 
up here, I kind of did like this. I don't know if you can even see, kind of doing the top bit of the lip. And this whole area nice and puffy. And puffy in this video is not a dirty word, okay? It's good. I know you can see a difference, because I can see a difference in the camera, never mind my mirror. Proof is in the pudding, I'm sorry, I just... Oh! <laughs> look at the difference in this side of the face than this side. Do you see my... yeah. Just look! It works. Doesn't it look so nice and puffy? Oh my god, I love it, and just the feel of it, it feels all nice and bouncy and... Mm. Right, now, please go wash your face, basically. I don't think, I never, I just do not agree really with leaving that much oil on your face. You can leave a little bit of oil, but not, not this much oil. But the point is, it's face mask time, so get the oil off your face. Right, so this is after washing it, now look. I know you guys can tell how much I love this. Okay, so face mask time. Now, you don't have to do this, but I just think it's better. So I always use these because I just think they're such great value for money and they work. These are like three quid. This is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask. Now, oh, they do a load of them, but for some reason I just like this, but this is what I like for my face. These only take 15 minutes as well because I really hate long, long masks. Oh, I love them, look at all that goo. Oh, and the smell. Oh God, yes, get on my face. Oh, it comes with a protective layer. I don't think you can see that. There we go, get that shit off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I know it's definitely too big for these ones. Okay, right, we'll see you back in <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes is up. Oh. 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 Now, that serum is pretty well dried in. I just look how nice my skin is. Okay, I know I have the old breakout, but look. I'm sorry, but considering how rough I've been looking after shifts, you just don't understand the difference. I, I know this morning I didn't look that bad, but oh, wow. Yes, thank you, Gonya. <laughs> So now for the makeup. Okay, you guys, all right, I'm just gonna say this now because if you do not wanna continue watching, I get it. Because this is my makeup channel and I know I do a very heavy makeup, but today I'm sorry. This is gonna be something entirely different for some reason. Less is more when it, I'm sorry, but I've just spent so much effort on my face, I do not wanna hide my makeup, okay? So you have been warned from this point on, there's not gonna be much makeup involved. If you're interested in very light makeup, then continue watching. First thing is first. Now, my eyes. I don't really have that much of a problem with uh, dark circles unless I really push it. But the puffiness is a real thing. Now, the, my favorite, favorite anything to do with eyes I've ever found is this. This is the Ordinary uh, Caffeine Solution 5% EGCG, which I don't know what means. But it's this one. This if you use this, you know how fantastic it is. The only problem with this is because when it dries, it tightens. And that's that it will, because how it's tightening, it causes a film over the eye. So this is pilling. And if you don't know what pilling is, I'm sure you've experienced it. It's when um, you're doing your makeup and it starts to kind of grit off. You have to be careful with this. So less is 100% more when it comes to this. Literally, you dot it on. And then the trick supposedly is that you pat it and that's supposed to stop the pilling and I kind of get it. Yes, less is more, please, please, because you're just gonna peel, pill. I think it's actually called pill, but you know what I mean? It's gonna like do this gritty thing. So you just do the tiniest little amount possible. But this is 100%, I've never had a product that works as good as this, it's mad. It's absolutely mad, this is. But again, with this serum, you've got to leave it to work. So you, unfortunately, if you're kind of stuck for time, this isn't the greatest serum. Because I always leave it for literally like five minutes and my eyes just tighten. I'm just like, yes, tighten, bitch, tighten. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to turn my uh, heating off. I'm getting really hot. 
People who say talking isn't cardio doesn't know how much I talk. <sighs> I think there's been sufficient enough time. Like, look, oh no, it's my under eyes. Look, okay, wait. Don't let me make me smile because that kind of defeats the point. Okay, so for moisturizer today, I'm gonna use something super hydrating. I've used this on my channel before. It is the First Aid Ultra Repair Cream. It looks like that. This I just think is fantastic. It's a great night cream. It's quite a heavy day cream, but it soaks into the skin really fast, so it's not a heavy day cream. But it keeps your skin moisturized like the entire freaking day. I'm telling you, I love this cream. Anyway, so yeah, when I'm super tired and looking absolutely rough, the more moisture the better, I'm telling you, because it just keeps it nice and plump and it's sort of like, it, when it dries out, it gets all shrunken and rank. Right, anyway, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. That's it, it's like basically, dried into my skin. That's how good that moisturizer is, it's unreal. So for primer today, it is the MAC Cosmetics Strobe Cream. This is the red light one. Again, it's hydrating, it's glowy. You can see the pattern. Also, you don't need a lot of this, like this is how much I'm using. You do not need a lot of this when you've just put all that moisturizer and serum and stuff on your face, you really don't. Because let's be real, you want to actually put some makeup on your face. You do not want it sliding off your face. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so careful with my face. I do not want to pill. Anyway, so the trick for pilling, if you find it really hard, and I know we've all got those products that we love to use, but it just grits off our makeup. Apparently, yeah, I'm doing it. Look, it could just be my skin peeling off. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if you pat the product into your face, which I do not do, by the way. It's probably like the first time I'm ever patting my products into my face. <laughs> but anyway, the trick to it apparently is to pat your products into your face. Which just feels really <laughs> weird and that noise. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I can't help but be really immature sometimes. Right, so once that's all nice and soaked in, it's foundation time. This is actually quite a full coverage foundation, but I think it's super versatile and I've kind of fallen in love with it recently on these stupid shifts because I have like zero anything in the mornings. You have to understand, I have to get ready at like 3.30 in the morning. So anything that's easy is the better. So this is the iconic pigment stick. Everyone knows it. My color is 2.1. The trick is, is to focus like on the middle of your face. Do you know what I mean? When I say middle, I mean middle. Oh, and under eyes, obviously. I'm not going to all that bloody. This is literally what I do every morning. Because I have to wear makeup. If you guys are interested in what I do, literally there is a get ready with me uh, tutorial that I recently did. So you guys can kind of understand why I've got to wear the makeup I wear. Moving on to the tutorial. You just want to diffuse it out. Now this isn't something like that I've come up with. This is like the oldest trick in the book. See what I've done. It looks like I have, obviously I've got makeup up, but I hardly used anything. I know you're probably thinking, India, that's not you. Where is she and what have you done with her? Concealer. Obviously I'm going to use concealer. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. My colour is medium neutral. Now, look what I do when it comes to concealer when I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You just dot it on. I can't deny how, how badly I need you now. I need you now. I need you now. I need you now. Now for face powder, I do use face powder. I'm sorry, I, I tried a couple of days last week not using face powder. You have to bear in mind that I'm working eight hours and literally <laughs> about five hours in. It was 
yeah, it was not a pretty sight and mm -mm, mm -mm. So, face powder is a must, okay? This is the MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Skin Finish um, and my color is in medium golden. Just little bits, okay, people? Little bits. Now for my favorite, which you all know, I've just fallen in love with, and yes, I bought the other color because, ah. So that's coming in the post, so be prepared because you will see that. So this is the NYX, NYX, whatever it is called, the new holographic halo finishing powder. This one, this color is the amazing one. I know I'm so contradictory sometimes in my videos because I'm like, why do you want to mix it all in? But I think, I'm sorry if you're going for a more natural look, buff, you gotta buff it. You just do. Done. Oh God, I just love this face powder. NYX, NYX, whatever you're called. Right, so for eyebrows today, it is this one. You know I've fallen in love with this. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil, I think it's called. This is in the color five. I think it's their darkest color. That's probably as dark as we should go with this natural look going on. Done! My god, this is such a short makeup tutorial. <laughs> the only thing left is mascara, and you guys, you know what? I even use it eyelashes. So today's mascara is indeed the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. <laughs> Last up, it is makeup setting spray. So today's setting spray, it is the NYX Nynx. I'm sorry, I will work it out for the next video. Uh, this is the Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Right, that's it for today's tutorial. As always, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes. As always, if you have any questions, please just comment down below. I appreciate today's tutorial is a little bit more different and there's things that you probably will have questions about, so that's cool. But more importantly, if you like what you have seen, please, please subscribe. Right, that's it. Enjoy. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>